Well, so we're 14, yeah? Thank you, Father. <sighs> God did not create a meaningless world. How can a meaningless world exist if God did not create it? He is the source of all meaning and everything that is real is in his mind. Mm, it is in my mind too, because he created it with me. Why should I continue to suffer from the effects of my own insane thoughts when the perfection of creation is my home? Hmm. Let me remember the power of my decision and recognize where I really abide. <laughs> uh. <laughs> my thoughts are images that I have made. Whatever I see reflects my thoughts. It is my thoughts that tell me where I am and what I am. The fact that I see a world in which there is suffering and loss and death shows me that I am seeing only the representation of my insane thoughts and am not allowing my real thoughts to cast their beneficent light on what I see. <laughs> Yet God's way is sure. The images I have made cannot prevail against him because it is not my will that they do so. My will is his and I will place no other gods before him. I'd like to read one more. <laughs> I have no neutral thoughts. Neutral thoughts are impossible because all thoughts have power. They will either make a false world or lead me to the real one. But thoughts cannot be without effect. As the world I see arises from my thinking errors, so will the real world rise before my eyes as I let my errors be corrected. <sighs> my thoughts cannot be neither true nor false. They must be one or the other. What I see shows me which they are. Pretty good. <laughs> 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 All right, Brother Doug, <laughs> would you like to? <laughs> no. Uh... <laughs> I see no neutral things. What I see witnesses to what I think. If I did not think, I would not exist because life is thought. Let me look on this world I see as the representation of my own state of mind. I know that my state of mind can change. And so I also know the world I see can change as well. I see no neutral thing. I'm not alone in experiencing the effects of my seeing. If I have no private 
thoughts, I cannot see a private world. Even the mad idea of separation had to be shared before it could form the basis of the world I see. Yet that sharing was a sharing of nothing. I can also call upon my real thoughts, which share everything with everyone. As my thoughts of separation call to the separation thoughts of others, so my real thoughts awaken the real thoughts in them. In the world, my real thoughts show me will dawn on their sight as well as mine. I'm not alone in experiencing the effects of my seeing. I am not alone in experiencing the effects of my thoughts. I am alone in nothing. <laughs> Everything I think or say or do teaches all the universe. A son of God cannot think or speak or act in vain. He cannot be alone in anything. It is therefore in my power to change every mind along with mine, for mine is the power of God. <laughs> I am not alone in experiencing the effects of my thoughts. Hey, Nari, you want to go next? Thank you, brother. You guys are doing well without me. <laughs> you guys are doing well on your own. So. <laughs> As you feel it, just jump on in. You know? I am determined to see Recognizing the shared nature of my thoughts, I am determined to see. I would look upon the witnesses that show me the thinking of the world has been changed. I would behold the proof that what has been done through me has established love to replace fear, laughter, to replace tears, and abundance to replace loss. Mm, take a second. I would love. look upon the real take world. Second. Take a second, love. Okay. Mm. Just back up and maybe read that one again. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I would behold the proof that what has been done through me has established love mm. to replace fear. Mm. Laughter to replace tears. And abundance to replace loss. I would look upon the real world and let it teach me that my will and the will of God are one. I am determined to see things differently. What I see now are but signs of disease, disaster, and death. This cannot be what God created for his beloved son. The very fact that I see such things 
is proof that I do not understand God. Therefore, I also do not understand his son. What I see tells me that I do not know who I am. I am determined to see the witnesses to the truth in me rather than those which show me an illusion of myself. What I see is a form of vengeance. The world I see is hardly the representation of loving thoughts. It is a picture of attack on everything by everything. It is anything but a reflection of the love of God and the love of his son. It is my own attack thoughts that give rise to this picture. My loving thoughts will save me from this perception of the world and give me the peace God intended me to have. <laughs> I can escape from this world by giving up attack thoughts. Herein lies salvation and nowhere else. Without attack thoughts, I could not see a world of attack. As forgiveness allows love to return to my awareness, I would see a world of peace and safety and joy. And it is this I choose to see in place of what I look on now. Thank you. Viviana, would you like to? Yes. Next to be. I do not perceive my own best interests. How could I recognize my own best interests when I do not know who I am? What I think are my best interests would merely bind me closer to the world of illusions. I am willing to follow the guide God has given me to find out what my own best interests are, recognizing that I cannot perceive them by myself. Recognizing that I cannot perceive them by myself. I do not perceive my own best interests. I cannot perceive them by myself. I do not know what anything is for. <laughs> to me, the purpose of everything is to prove that my illusions about myself are real. It is for this purpose that I attempt to use everyone and everything. It is for this that I believe the world is for. Therefore, I do not recognize its real purpose. The purpose I have given the world has led to a frightening picture of it. (sighs) 
Let me open my mind to the world's real purpose by withdrawing the one I have given it. And learning the truth about it. I do not know what anything is for. My attack thoughts are attacking my invulnerability. How can I know who I am when I see myself as under constant attack? And I see myself under constant attack. Pain, illness, loss, age. <laughs> and death seems to threaten me. All my hopes and wishes and plans appear to be at the mercy of the world I cannot control. Yet perfect security and complete fulfillment are my inheritance. I have tried to give my inheritance away in exchange for the world I see. But God has kept my inheritance safe for me my own real thoughts will teach me what it is. My attack thoughts are attacking my invulnerability. Thank you. Hey Anna, would you like to? Hey Heidi, you're up next. <laughs> Above all else, I want to see. Above all else I want to see, recognizing that what I see reflects what I think I am, I realize that vision is my greatest need. The world I see attests to the fearful nature of the self-image I have made. If I would remember who I am, it is essential that I let this image of myself go. If I would remember who I am, it is essential that I let this image of myself go. As it is replaced by truth, Vision will surely be given me. And with this vision, I will look upon the world and on myself with charity and love. Above all else, I want to see differently. The world I see holds my fearful self-image in place and guarantees its continuance. While I see the world as I see it now, truth cannot enter my awareness. I 
I would let the door behind this world be opened for me that I may look past it to the world that reflects the love of God. God is in everything I see. Behind every image I have made, the truth remains unchanged. <laughs> Behind every veil I have drawn across the face of love, its light remains undimmed. Beyond all my insane wishes is my will. <laughs> United with the will of my father. God is still everywhere and in everything forever. <laughs> and we who are part of him will yet look past all appearances and recognize the truth beyond <laughs> them all. <sighs> God is in everything I see because God is in my mind. It is my own mind. <laughs> in my own mind behind all my insane thoughts of separation and attack is the knowledge that all is one forever. I have not lost the knowledge of who I am because I have forgotten <laughs> it. I have not lost the knowledge of who I am because I have forgotten it. <laughs> it has been kept for me in the mind of God who has not left his thoughts, who, <laughs> who has not left his thoughts. And I, who am among them, am one with them and one with him. Oh. <laughs> Keep going. I am not a victim of the world I see. How can I be a victim of the world that can be completely undone if I so choose? Oh. <laughs> <sighs> My chains are loosened. I can drop them off merely by desiring to do so. <laughs> the prison door is open. I can leave simply by walking out. Nothing holds me in this world. Only my wish to stay keeps me a prisoner. I would give up my insane wishes wow. and walk into the sunlight at last. At last. <laughs> at last. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you, sis. <laughs> All right, Heidi G. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> Welcome thank to the dream. Oh. <laughs> That was good. Yeah, it was. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> I have invented the world I see. 
I made up the prison in which I see myself. <laughs> All I need to do is recognize this and I am free. I have deluded myself into believing it is possible to imprison the son of God. I was bitterly mistaken in this belief, which I no longer want. There you go. The son of God must be forever free. Yeah. He is as God created him and not what I would make of him. <laughs> he is where God would have him be and not where I thought <laughs> to hold him prisoner. <laughs> I have invented the world I see. <laughs> Give some tissue. Read another one. <laughs> there is another way of looking at the world. Since the purpose of the world is not the one I ascribe to it, there must be another way of looking at it. I see everything upside down, and my thoughts are the opposite of truth. I see the world as a prison for God's son. It must be then that the world is really a place where he can be set free. <laughs> I would look upon the world as it is and see it as a place where the son of God finds his freedom. Oh, this, there is another way of looking at the world. All right, I'm gonna go get a tissue. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna read one while you're gone. Hurry back. <laughs> um, I can see peace. <laughs> Instead of this. Oh no, you go ahead. <laughs> you back? <laughs> you go. Uh, there is another way of looking at the world. Wait, am I there? Where am I? I lost myself. I think you're it. I could see peace. I don't know. I'm lost. Could Wait. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's where we are. <laughs> I could see peace instead of this. Right on. Uh, oh. When I see the world as a place of freedom, I realize that it reflects the laws of God instead of the rules I made up for it to obey. Mm. I will <laughs> understand that peace not war abides in it and i will perceive that peace also abides in the hearts of all who share this place with me i could see peace instead of this yeah. I'll do another one, <sighs> my mind is a part of god's mm. and i am very holy I am very holy. <laughs> As I share the peace of the world with my brothers, I begin to understand that this peace comes from deep within myself. The world I look upon has taken on the light of my forgiveness and shines forgiveness back at me. In this light, I began to see what my illusions about myself kept hidden. I began to understand the holiness of all living things, including myself <laughs> and their oneness with me. My mind is part of God's. I am very, very, very holy. I think we should do one more class. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> My holiness envelops everything I see. From my holiness, does the perception of the real world come? Yeah. Having forgiven, 
I no longer see myself as guilty. I can accept the innocence that is the truth about me. Seen through understanding eyes, the holiness of the world is all I see. Where I can picture only the thoughts I hold about myself. Uh, uh, <clears throat> could you just read that last sentence for me? <laughs> Not actually. <laughs> seen through understanding eyes. Okay. Seen through understanding eyes, the holiness of the world is all I see. For I can picture only the thoughts I hold about myself. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'll read a couple. <laughs> My holiness blesses the world. The perception of my holiness does not bless me alone. <laughs> Everyone and everything I see in its light shares in the joy it brings to me. There is nothing that is apart from this joy because there is nothing that does not share my holiness. As I recognize my holiness, so does the holiness of the world shine forth for everyone to see. The holiness blesses the world. <laughs> and there is nothing my holiness cannot do. My holiness is unlimited in its power to heal because it is unlimited in its power to save. What is there to be saved from except illusions? <laughs> and what are all illusions except false ideas about myself? My holiness undoes them all by asserting the truth about me. Ooh, Ooh in the presence of my holiness, which I share with God himself, all idols vanish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, brother. <laughs> you ready? My holiness is my salvation. Since my holiness saves me from all guilt, recognizing my holiness is recognizing my salvation. It is also recognizing the salvation of the world. Once I have accepted my holiness, nothing can make me afraid. And because, and because I am unafraid, everyone must share in my understanding, which is the gift of God to me and to the world. My holiness is my salvation. I am blessed as a son of God. <laughs> Herein lies my claim to all good 
and only good. <laughs> I am blessed as the son of God. All good things are mine because God intended them for me. I cannot suffer any loss or deprivation or pain because of who I am. My father supports me, protects me, and directs me in all things. His care for me is infinite and is with me forever. I am eternally blessed. As his son, I am blessed as a son of God. God goes with me wherever I go. How can I be alone when God goes with me? How can I be doubtful and unsure of myself when perfect certainty abides? in him how can i be disturbed by anything when he rests in me in absolute peace how can i suffer when love and joy surround me through him. Let me not cherish illusions about myself. I'm perfect because God goes with me wherever I go. God goes with me wherever I go. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Yeah. God is my strength. Vision is his gift. Let me not look to my own eyes to see today. Let me be willing to exchange my pitiful illusion of seeing for the vision that is given by God. Christ's vision is his gift, and he has given it to me. Let me call upon this gift today so that this day may help me to understand eternity. God is my strength. Vision is his gift. God is my source. I cannot see apart from him. I can see what God wants me to see. I cannot see anything else. Beyond his will lie only illusions. It is these I choose when I think I can see apart from him. It is these I choose when I try to see through the body's eyes. Yet the vision of Christ has been given me to replace them. 
it is through this vision that I choose to see. God is my source. I cannot see apart from him. God is the light in which I see. I cannot see in darkness. God is the only light. Therefore, if I am to see, it must be through him. I have tried to define what seeing is, and I have been wrong. Now it is given me to understand that God is the light in which I see. Let me welcome vision and the happy world it will show me. God is the light in which I see. God is the mind with which I think. I have no thoughts I do not share with God. I have no thoughts apart from him because I have no mind apart from his. As part of his mind, my thoughts are his and his thoughts are mine. God is the mind with which I think. Thank you, sis. We might get through it tonight. Let's see. <laughs> Did you honest? God is the love in which I forgive. God does not forgive because he has never condemned. The blameless cannot blame. And those who have accepted their innocence see nothing to forgive. Yet forgiveness is the means by which I will recognize my innocence. It is the reflection of God's love on earth. He will bring me near enough to heaven that the love of God can reach down to me and raise me up to him. God is the love in which I forgive. God is the strength in which I trust. It is not my own strength through which I forgive. It is through the strength of God in me, which I am remembering as I forgive. I am remembering as I forgive. As I begin to see, I recognize his reflection on earth. I forgive all things because I feel the stirring of his strength in me. And I begin, begin to remember the love I choose to forget but which has not forgotten me. God is the strength in which I trust. Thank you, sis. <laughs> All right, Anna. <clears throat> Thank you. 
there is nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear. How safe the world will look to me when I can see it. It will not look anything like what I imagine I see now. Everyone and everything I see will lean toward me to bless me. I will recognize in everyone my dearest friend. What could there be to fear in a world that I have forgiven and that has forgiven me? God's voice speaks to me all through the day. There is not a moment in which God's voice ceases to call on my forgiveness to save me. There is not a moment in which God's voice ceases to call on my forgiveness to save me. There is not a moment in which his voice fails to direct my thoughts, guide my actions, and lead my feet. I am walking steadily on toward truth. There is nowhere else I can go because God's voice is the only voice and the only guide that has been given to his son. I am sustained by the love of God. As I listen to God's voice, I am sustained by his love. As I open my eyes, his love lights up the world for me to see. As I forgive, his love reminds me that his son is sinless. As I forgive, his love reminds me that his son is sinless. And as I look upon the world with the vision he has given me, I remember that I am his son. I am sustained by the love of God. Heidi, you want to read that one too? <laughs> Thank you, Anna. <laughs> I am sustained by the love of God. As I listen to God's voice, I am sustained by his love. As I open my eyes, his love lights up the world for me to see. As I forgive, his love reminds me that his son is sinless. And as I look upon the world with the vision he has given me, I remember that I am his son. I am sustained by the love of God. Thank you. Viviana, you want to read that? <laughs> I am sustained by the love of God. As I listen to God's voice, I am sustained by his love. As I open my eyes, his love lights up the world for me to see. As I forgive, his love reminds me that his son is sinless. And as I look upon the world with a vision he has 
given me. I remember <laughs> that I am a son. I am sustained by the love of God. <laughs> Thank you, sir. What's going on here? Looks like a Zoom meeting of my <laughs> opinions. <laughs>